I was a little disappointed when you stopped driving because you're such a good race car driver. But what has the challenge been like owning your own team? You know, you guys kind of made the switch, I'd say, right before Tulsa. Came out of Tulsa, you know, won a prelim night with Bell, second at the Chili Bowl, super fast, probably the best cars in the building. What has this process been like for you, you know, jumping out of the seat of the race car and kind of, you know, controlling your own team and, and, and working on these race cars? Yeah, it's been it's been exciting. So um, actually just the other day, I think it's almost been a year since I ran last. I was thinking about it and, um, you know, headed into Wayne County, Tri-State. That's the first weekend Geo was in the 84 last year. Um, you know, we just had a lot of opportunities that were presented that it made more sense from a long term perspective on what I wanted to do and what I wanted to do with the brand and continue to grow it. And I think since that point and I made that decision to go all in and build the brand and put the best cars possible out on the track that we've, uh, you know, we've been able to do that. You know, obviously winning the first night at Plasterville was awesome last year. Christopher ran second and then, you know, rolling in the Chili Bowl, we had, you know, six really fast cars. Um, we were two spots away total from putting five in the A main. Um, so it was, uh, it was really good. And the Chili Bowl, and then the USAC season has been, um, you know, successful. We have eight wins to most of any of the teams. Um, Wyndham has quite a few podiums. Um, I think he's only been off the podium like three times throughout the whole year. So when you're able to do that, it makes your effort that you put in, um, you're, you know, you're rewarded. So I've, I've really enjoyed it a lot. How have your, and I, I want to phrase this correctly because I know you're a competitive person, but like, as a owner compared to a driver, when you're at the racetrack and you want to win, like how has how has just being an owner changed your expectations for the cars you're putting on the track, if that makes sense? Um, you know, it's obviously as a driver, right? You are, um, you know, you feel pressure to get it done on the track when you have the car capable of doing it. So now I feel like that pressure is just making sure that your drivers have the cars capable of going out there and winning. Um, and when you get to work with guys like, you know, Kyle and Christopher, um, they help you grow your program and, uh, you know, push you to be better for sure. Because obviously, you know, if you give them the car, they can get it done. And, you know, that's no different than any other drivers we have. Um, you know, we feel like any of them that get in the car at any time can, uh, can get the job done. And we just need to run you a little bit more, Dylan. <laughs> I know. I just need to quit my day job. I'll be there every week. <laughs> I know. Every time we try to go racing, Dylan's got to work. 